Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to start seeing a new story called, The Son of Goku is the New Demon King. Lord Beerus already knows the true intentions of Kaido, Goku's son with Vados, and now wants to destroy him with Hakai before a big catastrophe happens. Will Goku allow Beerus to do that? You'll find out now having said all that, I ask you to leave a lot of likes and comment if you want the continuation of this story. With all that done, grab your popcorn and soda, let's see this amazing story. In the seventh universe, currently on the planet of Universe Seven's God of Destruction, it was possible to see that the atmosphere on that planet was quite heavy, as Goku and Beerus stared deeply at each other while releasing their energies, making everything around them shake, and even gravity was getting heavy. As the two released their energies, we said, let's calm down. A fight between you two could end up destroying many planets and that would be harmful to the seventh universe, said the angel trying to prevent Goku and Beerus from facing each other. Beerus said, I've already made my decision Goku, now get out of my way. Ordered the god of destruction to the Saiyan who didn't move a step at that moment. Goku said, touch a finger to my son Beerus, and Vegeta will become the god of destruction of the seventh universe faster than you can imagine, said the same threatening the god of destruction, who got a nerve pulsing in his head because of, of the anger that Beerus was feeling at that moment. Vermouth said, threatening a god of destruction with death is a very serious crime that should be punished with the death of the person who threatened it, even more so when that person is just a mere mortal. How about we vote to kill Goku along with his son? said the god of destruction of the 11th universe in a playful and aggressive tone at the same time. Upon hearing that, Goku became even more nervous, and with it he released even more energy, making cracks appear all over that place, which made the gods of destruction apprehensive, because they knew that Goku would not back down and Beerus would not either, and this became even clearer when Beerus began to release more power, making the entire planet tremble and the cracks reaching the planets closest to the location. Vegeta said, look, if you two are going to face each other, do it in another dimension, or in a place that doesn't affect the seventh universe, I don't want planet Earth to be accidentally destroyed by the release of your power. Beerus, I have to agree with Kakarot, I think his son should continue to live, said the Prince of Saints while looking at Goku and Beerus who soon stared at him. Beerus said, what are you talking about Vegeta? Said the God of Destruction with an imposing and authoritative tone of voice. Vegeta said, Mr. Beerus, I respect you a lot, but I don't like people talking to me in that tone of authority, so stop it or you'll have to face two angry saints, said the Prince of Saints, releasing his own power, doing justice to his presence at that location. Beerus said, Vegeta, do not increase your power, otherwise I will destroy the entire planet Earth, with all Earthlings and the families of you two on this planet, so stop releasing the power of you two, now, said the God of Destruction unleashing even more of its power. Vegeta said, right, then we will have a combat between the strongest mortals of the seventh universe against the god of destruction of the seventh universe, said the prince of the saints, approaching and standing next to Goku who activated the power of the complete superior instinct, together with Vegeta who activated the power of the ultra ego. Beerus spoke, so be it said the god of destruction after making the decision to face both saints. Soon an explosion happened in that room forming a big curtain of dust. Goku and Vegeta got out of that dust, being followed by Beerus who had a furious expression on his face, while the saints were very serious at that moment. Beerus used all his speed to go against the saints, who, when they stepped on the ground, advanced against the god of destruction, clashing their fists against Beerus' fists, thus creating a gigantic impact wave. Goku and Vegeta, even though they were rivals, knew very well how to work together, and because of that, both Saiyans began to face Beerus with an enviable synchrony. Only Beerus was stronger and had much more experience than the two Saiyans together, so he was managing to fight very well against the two Saiyans. Beerus, using his power of destruction, created several spheres of energy of destruction and fired at both Saiyans, who were managing to dodge all of Beerus's attacks. Vegeta, who was already tired of that, began to fire his own energy spheres from the destruction and in this way Vegeta managed to nullify the spheres of destruction fired by Beerus. Goku seeing an opening, flexed his knees and gave a boost towards Beerus, who saw that and fired a sphere of destruction in Goku's direction, but Beerus' sphere was nullified by Vegeta who fired his own sphere of destruction. Goku was in front of Beerus and tried to hit him with a punch, but Beerus managed to defend himself using his tail to trap Sain Goku's wrist, and still in midair the god of destruction turned his body doing Sain Goku, spinning together, Goku was hurtling towards one of the planets that was destroyed when the Sain crashed into him. 
Vegeta, seeing that, used his teleportation technique and appeared on top of Beerus, hitting him with a blow that made the God of Destruction hit the ground. But Vegeta didn't stop there. He created a sphere of energy and fired at the God of Destruction who got up in time and used his speed to escape the Saiyan's blow. After dodging Vegeta's blow, Beerus dodged another blow, but this time from Goku, who had arrived at the scene trying to land a flying kick on Beerus. Goku quickly managed to make a maneuver and again advanced against the God of Destruction, starting a hand-to-hand -hand battle. Goku was attacking Beerus at high speed and Beerus was managing to defend himself from all attacks, but Beerus was surprised when he felt something holding his leg, and when he looked he saw that it was a tail made of ki. Taking advantage of Beerus' surprise, Goku landed a punch full of energy in the center of Beerus' abdomen, making the God of Destruction be thrown away, but when Beerus tried to recover, Vegeta was already in front of him, hitting Beerus with a kick, which made the God of Destruction flew across most of your planet. Beerus, now much more enraged, got up and created a huge sphere of destruction and seeing that, Goku and Vegeta increased their power, using their energies to create avatars of themselves. Goku had created a giant version of himself and Vegeta had created a type of Ozaru made of energy of destruction. Beerus threw the huge sphere of destruction at Goku's avatar and the Ozaru of destruction at Vegeta, so both Saiyans prepared and held the sphere of destruction from Beerus with all their strength, and using that same strength, Goku and Vegeta they threw this great attack of destruction elsewhere. After managing to get rid of Beerus' attack, Goku and Vegeta undid their avatars and once again went to meet Beerus who went to meet the Saiyans. Only when they would clash their fists, Whis appeared between them and used his power to seal the powers of Beerus, Goku, and Vegeta, who ended up returning to their base forms without understanding anything, especially Beerus who was angry with his angel. Beerus said, Whis why stopped my attack and sealed my power? I would use my power to kill these two, said the God of Destruction to his angel. We said, if this fight continued, the seventh universe would be destroyed. When you were fighting, several planets were destroyed, and if it continued, the energy would be sent to other universes, said the angel hitting his staff on the ground two times, making it appear a hologram that showed several planets completely destroyed, where some of them had life. We said, this battle ends here and now. As the angel of this universe, it is my duty to help and advise you, Mr. Beerus, but it is also my duty not to allow you to destroy everything that exists. And if in case your energy goes to other planets, my father would come personally and probably you would be removed from your position as God of Destruction, Mr. Beerus, said the angel seriously to Beerus, who snorted irritated. Beerus spoke, so what do we do now? Son Goku's son is too dangerous to remain alive and he is naturally evil, said the God of Destruction while looking at Goku who was in his base form, but he was still serious at that moment. Vegeta said, let's wait. We Saiyans are naturally evil and violent, we'll just have to wait and hope that Son Kaido finds something that will guide him to the path of good, just like I did. I'm a Saiyan and proud of it, and as the prince of my race I have to say so. Now if in the future Son Kaido is still the way he is now, then we will kill him, but until then, we must create a containment plan for him, don't get me wrong Kakaroto, but we will need to do at least that, he said the prince of the Saiyans to the god of destruction, and then looked up to his same rival son Goku. Kakaroto said, no need to worry Vegeta, I agree with you. I will help son Kaido to be on the side of good, and if in the future he is a real threat, then I will face him and defeat him myself, but until then I will not allow you to touch him Beerus, nor you nor anyone else said the same while looking at all the gods of destruction and then at the angels who had watched the fight between Goku, Vegeta, and Beerus until that moment. Beerus said, right, but if something happens, it will be your fault, son Goku, and yours too, Vegeta, said the god of destruction while looking at Goku and Vegeta. With that we will end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes in the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So see you another day guys.